my name is Missy, and welcome to the Social Media 101. Um, as I generally was in conversation, how many of you are familiar with various social media aspects, Twitter, Facebook? How familiar? Um, I would say we're familiar with that. Okay. And then we have Pat over here, who... <laughs> She's coming to learn. I'm not trying to point you out, just based on the conversation. So it's a nice little disparity as far as who knows what we different things. The way that I run things, it's going to be a nice, casual conversation. I don't want you to look at me like a teacher. If you know more than I do, absolutely speak up, please. Um, so, basics of social media. I've got some page already linked over here. We have Twitter, which is uh, twitter.com. We have Facebook. Facebook.com. We have LinkedIn, which is more of a business professional version of, of Facebook for all intents and purposes. And then we have MySpace. Myself, I don't really use MySpace anymore, so hence no reason updates in this category for my personal MySpace. But it is one of the social media things that, that people do use to still keep in touch with people. Any preferences to which we start out on for you folks, or? Facebook. You can just go left or right. Okay. okay. We'll go with Twitter. <laughs> Twitter is a social media client that I honestly use more frequently because it's instantaneous. It's 140 characters or less, so I can just pretty much a quick blurb and it's out there and anybody who's following me on Twitter can respond to it. So uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and tweet. Could you... In Increase the size of your screen. Okay, right. No, not that screen. On your laptop. Oh, on the laptop. Just okay. The like, yeah, yeah, control plus or. Uh, does that work? Mm -hmm. Give me both another one. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Anything like that, just, just let me know. Okay, so let's go back up to where I'm typing. Perhaps. There we go. So you really have to think about what you want to say because you don't have a lot of characters. No. And it'll tell you if it's gone so over. And you see over here it's got the 83 next to the little tweet button. That's telling you how many characters you have left. And then you just uh, hit the tweet. Who is that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, you said it showed okay. you where the number. Oh, I see it. See so what 140 is right here? Got it. Um, you, you have 140 characters that you can use. So the 140 will tell you what you're counting down from that what you have left. If you go over it, it won't let you send it, so you have to shorten it. Could, could you back up just as what I said on the beginning? I really mean not, not a problem. How do you, do you, do you just twitter.com and to get to this point? Or I heard there's a hashtag, which I think is Okay, the hashtag I'll show you. I'll tell you what, I will go ahead from the start. start like how do you, you, know, you have to decide, you have to create an account, right? Well, we're going to walk through it. Um, we're going to Create a quick account. I'll shut my phone off. So. <laughs> my dad is calling me. Can I ask a question even before we do that? Yes. Okay. This is a one-on-one. -on -one. Probably one of my first student there's, questions. I'm going there's to ask no student question. This is a one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know what you know. You're okay. getting this from me. So. This lady wants to set up an account. I'm mm -hmm. asking myself, why do I want to set up an account? If I set up my Twitter Twitter account mm -hmm. and I'm Tweeting something, I don't even know if I'm using the right verbs. <laughs> who, who cares? I mean, well, I have, there's nobody out there that knows I have an account, or how do they? It builds. Um, yeah, but it, the way that it works. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> the nice thing about this conference is you'll see that everybody's walking around with this app inside, or a lot of us are walking around with this app, whatever underneath. At Rebellious Vlog, that is my Twitter handle. So anybody who meets me at the event and wants to follow me on Twitter now has me at Rebellious Vlog, they can follow me on Twitter. So this isn't like Facebook where you have to have a friend request. You just can... There are two different kinds of Twitter accounts. There's a locked account and there's a public account. If it's a public account, anybody in the brother can follow it. If it's a locked account, you have to send a request. And much like Facebook, it has to be approved. You don't need to necessarily know anybody who knows anybody. If you have to search for that person, you can, your Twitter account is not your name, right? It is not. Um, you can search under the name. 
So mine actually, if you look under Mrs. Zork, I have a different name under mine to kind of keep it protected for, to some degree. Um, but you can search it based on, on name, and I'll show you that in just a minute here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to www.twitter, T-W-I-T-T-E-R.com. Well, to kind of go back to his question, are there people who don't have a Twitter account, but they don't have a Twitter account? We're all here just like, what do you, what do you right use for? Why do you? I use mine for, I, I have a personal and I have a business account. I have a small cafe that, that I have person, that I have the account for. My personal account is more conversation amongst friends, much like, you know, conversation hall type of thing. We're in different areas. We can have this conversation over Twitter. And it's 140 characters, so I can say something, they can respond, I can say something else. Other people that are watching the conversation, like if we're talking about, you know, we're watching on TV. Um, Jersey Shore is a, a popular topic of conversation. You know, while we're watching Jersey Shore, I can be having an active conversation with friends. Steelers games. Everybody loves the Steelers It's like games. instant messaging, but more public. It's more public because instead of reaching out to just one or two people, yeah. through the, it's, you reach out to whoever's following. But don't you do that on Facebook, too? Is it is like kind of like Facebook. <laughs> I'm sorry? Is that like writing on your wall on Facebook? It's kind of like that, but it's more instantaneous um, because you can set it up that I can get a text message directly to my phone for certain people that I follow on Twitter. Um, so whenever they send a message, I like to see what they say. I get a text message so that I can respond to them directly through text message, or I can go to the actual website, or a lot of the smartphones now have apps for it. So I have a Twitter app on my iPhone that I usually tweet from. So you'll, you'll see me walking around the conference most of the weekend doing this <laughs> type of thing. Is that tweeting? Yes, <laughs> So I don't have a cell phone. Do most people on Twitter have cell phones? Not necessarily. Um, a lot of people use the web interface, which is where we're at, twitter.com. So um, what we're going to do is, you can see down here where it says new to Twitter, join today. It asks you for your name, your email, and your password. Do you have to put your real name? I don't have my real name in there. Okay. So, um, you literally made up a name? It's a nickname that I go by. So PodCamp Sample is what's going to be my name. Um, you need a real email address? or You have to use a real email address because it sends a confirmation email that you have to click on in order to verify the account. Um, I'm trying to think of an email address that I don't have something connected to. That's my problem. <laughs> so I'm not actually going to be able to set this up without setting up another email account real quick. Um, I apologize for that. But you set up the email, you set up the, you set up the password that you'll remember. You click the sign up, and then it'll, you know, welcome to Twitter. It'll send you a confirmation email in your email box. You click on that to verify the account, and then you're able to use Twitter. Does it, because um, I'm sure a lot of people have, some people use their real name, some people use a made-up name. So it's going to let you know if that name's already taken, right? Yes. If you have a screen name that you use. Um, all right, I'm typing in Rebellious Flaw, that's my screen name. If somebody already had that screen name, it would tell me it would already be used. I could... I think that it adds suggestions like Rebellious Flow 1, my zip code 15216, you know, something to differentiate, much like if you're setting up an email account. If that email account is already taken, they'll tell you what you can use. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and sign in. When you sign into Twitter, sign in. Oh, there we go. Oh, of course. I can understand why you use it for a business. I would, like you could say today's daily special is. That's exactly what I use mine for. I mean, that's a great idea. And if I have people interested in, um, like, what I'm going to be incorporating is I do special debates each day, and I put out on Twitter. Just in here, it doesn't It asks for verification, which is a nice thing because it's more effective as far as trying to keep your account safe. Um, there we go, we're finally in. Okay. So when Twitter loads, we're going to go to the home screen. 
usually this comes up for some reason. It's telling me that I was already logged in. So I now have to go to this. This, could, this is your home screen. What this is, is all of these people, Superfro432, Mario Le Cafene, he's one of my friends, I follow him. Uh, to Amy, Amy Shireman, she's another one of my friends. So anybody that I'm following, I see what they're saying. So, uh, is that how it looks on your phone too? Like you just get on the phone, it pretty much looks like that if you're using the, the app. It doesn't have this stuff over on the side. It's right. pretty much just your, your stream of, of stuff. Um, we are going to, we're going to send a tweet. Hi from the Social Media 101 PCPGH6 session. The hashtag PCPGH6 is a way of searching different topics. So the term is hashtag, I'm not familiar. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pound sign hashtag. Um, but for social media, we call it a hashtag. Yeah, this is new to us too. So <laughs> what are the terms? What it is is, <laughs> yeah, if, I mean. we'll, we'll show you that in just a second, okay. how you can search that. Because we're pushing everybody to, to tag their stuff for this event, P hashtag PCPGH6, so it's easy to be found. Um, so I'm just tweeting out hi from Social Media 101 session. So we're going to hit tweet. That's going to refresh everything. It tells me I have two new tweets, and then it refreshes. See how Bird's Eye View, my friend Hutch, is asking me to send him a tweet? I'm going to send him a tweet. You can come down here like this, and it tells you favorite, and it puts it into a list that you can automatically pull back through. You can retweet, which sends it his message to all of your followers. When you say favorite, is he, he the favorite or the messages? The messages. The messages. Yeah. I'll show you my favorites here in a little bit. And then reply. That's what we want to do. So we're going to reply. When you hit reply, it pulls up automatically his name. Twitter connects it to this conversation. And we're just going to do a quick what's up. That's just between you and him right now. Nope. Everybody that's watching Twitter oh. can see this. So you really need to pay attention to what you write. <laughs> yes. There are direct messages, and we'll get to that in just a couple of minutes. Um, but for the most part, this is Twitter. So he, in addition to everybody else, just saw my, what's up, in response to his semi semi oh, message. Um, now, how do you know that this is a per not a personal, but rather a public um, Twitter? Is there somewhere on there that it says? There is a way. Um, okay. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. You guys are awesome. We have some people watching from the live stream. This message right here, when you click it over here, it pulls it to the side so it, it pulls it up to his attention. He says, because I'm watching the live stream. Hello, folks. So this is my friend Hush. He's saying hi to everybody. Hey. Hey. Uh, the camera's over here. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's just you, though, right? Yeah, pr pretty much. But yeah. everybody say hi. Uh. Hi, Hush. So it's instantaneous response. You get that. Um, now, here we also have another fun feature, which is called the retweet. Um, see where it says, hi, RT? That stands for retweet, which means that he has now sent that message to all of his friends. So all of his friends have now seen my message. She can forward. That's, essentially, that's what it is, and it okay. forwards to his entire Twitter account. Uh, so anybody that's following him has now seen that message. How do you keep up? It seems like a lot of messages would come in, and you're like, what? It is. And that's, again, why I have my favorites that come to my phone if I want to see them. Uh, otherwise, I work a 9 to 5. I'm not on Twitter during the day. I kind of scroll through the recent conversation, and if there's something that I want to respond to, I can respond to something from like two or three hours ago. And hitting that respond, that reply, what they can do is they can then we'll go back to uh, we'll go back to this. That's not in response to this right here is. Okay, see where this little icon over here is? That says that that's in response to a conversation. So if I click on this conversation, based on that, it pulls up to the side. This is the tweet that I just did. The message above it right there is the message that it was in response to. So it shows me what that is and that kind of, if I'm tweeting in response to something that was tweeted two hours ago, the person's looking at their stream going, what is she talking about? 
then you click on that. It provides you context. Yeah. Otherwise, you're like, what? Like when, you, when you're when you texting somebody with a cell phone and, and they mm -hmm. respond hours later and you're like, what did I just write? Exactly. What, what so was this? That's a question as far as that's, that's nice. it, it gets the information out there. So yes. how do you follow that on the phone app too? Because I've been able to follow it here, but I can't figure out how to follow a conversation. There. It's kind of the same thing. Okay. Um, I have an iPhone. Okay. So okay. I have the iPhone app. Right. And of course, my media is all deciding to be funky with me this weekend. When I pull up the app, mm -hmm. this is what it looks like. Right. It's pretty much, like I said, it's this part of the screen. It's yeah. just this conversation that you can see. And it's the same sort of thing when you click on it. It pulls it up into an individual page, like what, what it does over on the side here. Mm -hmm. And then you can do stuff from there. Uh, it gives you the options. I can reply to everybody in this one particular message that I just re hit reply to. Mm -hmm. Or they have it selected, so all I can do is hit the back button. So all I'm doing is responding to the first person that was okay. mentioned. So it makes it kind of easy as far as that's concerned. Are there like tutorials? There are actually, and the nice thing about this is um, I'm willing to sit with anybody who wants to, who wants to learn it or after the sessions. Awesome. That's honestly yeah. what we're here for is to, is to help you learn. I hear things on, you know, the TV that so and so has half a million people following them. Yes. Okay, so I'm a new person, and I'm like, I want to be one of those half a million people. Okay, and follow somebody famous. Okay. How do you do that if you don't know? Or well, say if, if you know who they are, um, give me give me an example. Uh, Oprah. <laughs> okay, we'll go with Oprah. Okay. <laughs> Up there in that search button, we're gonna search for Oprah. And it's going to pull through results for Oprah. Over here, you have Oprah Winfrey. Oh, uh, over here on the right, it says yeah. people people results for Oprah. You have Oprah Winfrey. So if that's who we're going to follow, we're going to go to her Twitter page. Here's her Twitter page, and it says right there, follow. Now, does she have to prove me to follow her? Her account is open, and the reason that I say that is because it doesn't have a locked sign on there okay. after the follow. And yours are locked, correct? Right? Mine are not locked. Mine are open. So but let me see. Oh, because of the, especially you want for your business, because you want people to come in all the time. Exactly. Um, my personal account used to be locked, but with as involved as I am with PodCamp, okay. I would have people messaging me, and they would have to request me to follow them before they could message me, so I just unlocked it because it made it easier for me to be able to talk to people. Okay. So that's what I had done. So um, like sports figures and things like that, we would search them through their real name to see if they, they do have a Twitter account, correct? Yes. All right, see this right here? This is what I was talking about. Next to, this is my friend Jen. She has a locked account. See that little, where the cursor is? A little padlock? Her account is locked. So you'll see that when there's a locked account because mm -hmm. she, you have to request to follow her and would she has to approve you. Would we see anything else with her? With my account, you would because I follow her. Right, exactly. But with yours, it would pull up. Um, it would pull up a profile, and there would be a little notification saying that this account is locked. You have to request permission. Okay. And then you could request to follow her. Like she would get the message, and she would have to approve you. You then get an email message that she's approved you, and you're good to go. Like, is President Obama even the same on Twitter? Yeah, he comes up when you log in. He comes up. Her like, first suggestion yeah. is to who to follow. Barack Obama, right there, mm -hmm. and we can follow President Obama if we wanted to. And it tells you right there, this account is run by Obama 2012 campaign staff. Tweets from the president are signed BO. So what that means is he has his support staff that are sending out tweets on his behalf. If it's something that he has approved, it'll have that BO after it, so you know whether it's come directly from him or if it's come from his staff. Interesting. Um, but yeah, you, you can you can follow and. What this shows you down here is uh, these are some of the tweets. So the most recent is President Obama urges Congress to pass the American Jobs Act so we can get America back to work. It gives you a hyperlink. You can send links to people that you're tweeting. Um, what that'll do is you, you click on that and it opens into a website. This happens to be a YouTube video of the weekly address where the president is passing the American Jobs Act. As, as new Twitterers, 
Would you suggest that we keep ours locked at first? Or? It's entirely your preference. Because the nice thing about it is that if you haven't unlocked it though, <laughs> it's easier for people to find you, and it's easier for people to follow you. Because when I first got on Twitter, my husband signed me up for it, and I was like, I will never use this. Are you kidding me? Why did you sign me up for this? And he's like, just give it a shot. Truth be told, I was home sick from work one day, and I had the phone sitting next to me, and I was like, you know, I'm sitting here, really can't do much else, I'll play with this. I was focused like that. <laughs> um, I, my husband sent me up to follow just a few people, primarily friends that I've met, and when I was following those people, they would have a response to, to somebody, and I'd be like, this is like a fun conversation, who's this person? And then I would click on them, and then go to them, and that's how you find, okay. Um, See how the bird baby is sending the message to at Secret Ninja Mom saying whatever, something shiny? If I wanted to see what that conversation was, I could click over to the, the conversation thing. And then she's... <laughs> These are a couple of my friends who are having a fun little conversation back and forth to each other. This was a bad example to have given to the class, but it's, it's, it's what I saw right there. What I can do is then, Secret Ninja Mom, I can go to her account I can see the tweets that she's been tweeting. So she says, still trying to figure out what my passion is. Sleeping, tanning, working out, pretty sure I could be on the Jersey Shore. <laughs> okay, so she's got that tweeted. I can read down through her tweets. And see where it says more tweets from Secret Ninja Mom. I can go to her, her actual Twitter page. And what that'll do, her account is open. So I can read down through everything that, she, that she's been talking about. If I like what she has to say, I can go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and unfollow her, just so that I can show you guys what's going on here. If I like what she's having to say, send follow request. Your follow request has been sent. Uh, she may be one that, I don't recall if she's one that requires for approval. I don't think she does because she didn't have a little lock sign on hers. Uh, so I should be able to just automatically get her, her tweets. How do you balance between this and then Facebook, which can now lead you into? Because that has its own. Well, I, you, you can actually time Twitter into Facebook. Yes. So you, could, you only have to do it one time. So you can send something on Twitter, but you also appear on Facebook. So you know, if, if it's something that you have friends that follow you on Facebook that may not be following you on Twitter, you can link Facebook into Twitter. So when you send something on Twitter, it appears on your Facebook. On your wall? Yeah. Yes. And I'll, I'll show you. So I was going to say, here's, I'll your, show you here's your trend. Here's your segue into Facebook. <laughs> yeah. um, Before you yes. do that, yes. uh, where does the hashtag thing come from? Okay, the hashtag thing. What that is, is we'll do the one that is effective for this event. If you go up to your search and you search hashtag PCPGH6, because that's a hashtag that we're searching for this weekend. Click your enter. Anybody who has used that hashtag PCPGH6, all of those comments that have been tagged are right there in one feed. So it's like putting in that somebody's name. name. Yes. Name. Okay. And the nice thing about it is, is I'm pretty sure that this polls, you don't have to be following the people in order to be able to see this. Because this sandwiched person right here, I don't follow that sandwiched person on that account, but I'm able to see her tweet because she, she hashtagged it PCPGH6. If it's a locked account, you can I believe you can see those messages like that, but you can't retweet them, and you can't, you have to make the request to follow that person. That's like the only thing that you're able to see. So it's sort of like your URL, or it's a way to find you. That has exactly, way to exactly. What's and the way to get into that conversation? Yeah. So if you have a specific thing that you want to follow, and somebody's, for example, Barack Obama, somebody hashtag Barack Obama in, in the speech that you you know, so it's people. a keyword, basically. It, yes. Yeah, that's exactly right. And you'll see it come up on the people you follow. They'll say, you know, just saw this great speech, hashtag uh, State of the Union. And then you can click on hashtag State of the Union and follow everybody that's commenting using that hashtag. Mm -hmm. And it opens up conversation more because, again, you can respond in turn then to some of that conversation that you wouldn't have necessarily seen otherwise. So hashtag just picks up anybody around Anybody and everybody who uses that hashtag. Okay. If they misspell the hashtag, um, like instead of PCPGH6, if they did PCPH6, they, they forgot the G. 
it would come up with a completely different search, and you would more than likely, you'd find the person that misspelled it, but you wouldn't find the actual conversation. You would then look and say, oh, okay, I misspelled it, we'll fix it. Um, so that's, uh, that's how that works. Any other questions on Twitter since we're still here? Yeah, it's okay. Quick. Um, as a human being, sometimes we have falling out with people. Yes. So either I don't want them following me, or they don't want me following them. Who has control of that? If it's... You have control of who you Yes. Who I, yeah, we'll say, I don't want somebody, I don't want her following me anymore. If your account is locked... But it's not, it's open. Yeah, it's the only way to do it. That's the only way to do it. That person. You cannot so follow So you don't see what they say. But it, as long as they're still following you, they see you can, yeah. No, you can block them. So yeah, you can block. Yeah, you can block. But there's, a, there's a way to block people. Um, and I usually do that with scammers. Okay, in Facebook, you can go to Hotmail and they can okay. go through That's all the friends. Mm-hmm. So can this do that too? Like find all my friends from Hotmail that are in Twitter? Yes. Um, when you set up your account, mm-hmm. it'll ask you to connect to different things like that. And it'll go through your list. And you can, you can connect the same way that that does. Mm-hmm. Um, it's... This may be a two a one or two question, but two or one question. Um, <laughs> That's fine. I work for the Department of Corrections, so I go to the wrong place, okay? Mm-hmm. And somebody could be following you for the wrong reasons. That happens all the time. And again, based on, there are different search engines that search Twitter and pull up different things. Okay. Um, if if there's a bot that, that decides to follow for whatever reason. Uh, it, it happens. Because I have it unlocked. I'm opening myself up to that. Exactly. Okay, that's what I need. And don't use your real name. No, and, and that's the thing. <laughs> I don't, seriously, I don't have my real name listed. Yeah. Um, my name is listed as one of my nicknames. Okay. So that, that way, primarily, it's people at work. I say some things that necessarily aren't. aren't it's not work. It's not that I'm saying bad things about work. Right. It's saying things that might be inappropriate for that sort of setting. Best to be anonymous. Exactly. So the best that I can, it's they know that I'm on Twitter. They well, know that I'm on Facebook. Yeah, because once it's publicized, you can be held accountable. Exactly. So and it's, it's perfect. So if my sign in for Hotmail is song was then I maybe should have used song with because people would know and they recognize me. That might be something. I mean if, if somebody emails you pure you know, regularly and that's uh, your email address, mm-hmm. that would be something that I would you know, obviously if, if my email address was rebelliousflaw at gmail.com. People would kind of be able to figure it out based on that. Right. Yeah. So, so if you want to do something else to be more anonymous, if you wanted to be more anonymous, that would be an option. Um, you can always create a free account. There's a dozen. You know, Gmail, Hotmail, <laughs> <Gmail, laughs> Yahoo. I mean, there's, but if you're Barack Obama, you wouldn't want to be anonymous. You want well, rights people. Well, they, right. want, they want. They want people. Right. They exactly. want. So it's the and difference. they have the cloud. I mean, it's people. They're people that the world knows. Right. Exactly. So, yeah, so but I guess what my point is as. When we open up the account, mm-hmm. these are questions that we have to ask ourselves because it opens the door. Absolutely. And that was the thing. When I originally set up my account, I had it locked. I had it locked for the longest time because I didn't know people. And I had a standard rule that I will not follow you on Twitter until I've met you in person. And vice versa. I would not allow you to follow me on Twitter until I've met you in person. That way I can make sure you're not some crazy stalker person. Okay. Being involved with the camp, I have a lot more exposure to people. You're becoming open. <laughs> not by any means, but there are it's questions. Hard. <laughs> I that far, but, but um, it's easier for people to send me an app message on Twitter if they have a question specifically about podcast. So you know, going back to that, if you want to talk to somebody, when you send an app message to somebody, if you look at these app mentions, that pulls up your specific messages. Oh, all the, is that the ball say? Ball That's his username. Thank you. Um, I should have actually been checking this because I had asked people to, to tweet some things. And he's actually saying that I am correct. You can follow a hashtag without following a user using the hashtag. So thank you very much for, for corroborating that information. Is that how you spell that? I always said it was H A S H, but it's. Oh, it is S H. He misspelled. So it's has yeah. back for him. Right. Yeah, it's it's right. Right. Oh, okay. It happens. I mean, oh, a lot, no, a lot of people are tweeting from their phones, or they're really excited. I've got this little mouse pad thingy in the middle line that's throwing me off. And so you have so. a tweet account for your business and one personal. Yep. 
This is for my personal account. And if I want to pull up for, I'm just going to do a quick Google search for my business account. So can I see like who my friends are following and who's following them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like the name. Do you see that? Cafe Solstice. This is my business. Because <laughs> our last name is Solstice and people mispronounce it I all the time. Did like, you buy awesome. the car? I'm sorry. Yeah. Do you buy the Solstice car? Did you buy the car? I did not. You need to buy the car. I, I tried talking to my husband into that a couple of years ago. <laughs> so I like the idea of creating the Gmail account, though. Like, you can create another, yeah, you can create another an anonymous account. account that doesn't have any connection to you. Well, I, have, I, I do a couple of different podcast shows, and I have a Twitter account for each one of my shows. So, the you people have, that follow that show. Who really bought all of that, though? I use a specific Twitter client. It allows me to monitor all, all my yeah. Yeah. Things, and, that's, so, and you get into tweet deck. And there, there's a bunch tweet of tweet deck. Yeah, tweet deck. Yeah, that's one of the that's one of the tweet deck overload. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, because I'm just sitting behind someone in the auditorium. I'm like, what the hell is that? And, you know, obviously <laughs> that's what that is. Sure. So then you can set up columns based on uh, tweet a Tweet a no, really <laughs> uh, What's exactly. your topic? What do you watch podcast about? I have a show on Macintosh, I have a show on uh, restaurant food, and I have another, sh and I'm still on a show with Hutch, Ju Hutch Bailey, doing uh, I don't know who that is. Well, that's, that's his buddy Hutch. Yeah, oh, that's okay. my buddy Hutch. Oh, okay. 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 Sorry, I didn't mean to derail us. No, that's okay. Um, so this is, this is my business Twitter, and you can see that I tweet my... Look, today's on made soup. Yeah, um, my today's right. stuff is... Um, my breakfast special for today is French toast breakfast plate, BLT sandwich plate, chocolate chip muffins. Oh, oh. Where's your cafe? <laughs> Mount Lebanon. Uh, chicken noodle, cream of celery, and uh, chili are our soups. And that way I have That's anybody great. who's following me, which I have 119 followers, this is where you can find out who's following you. And how do you advertise this? Your do you tell your friends first, and then it kind of grows from there? Pretty much. That's how I. That's how I've done mine. So this is all sort of word of mouth in terms of how you get followers. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, you know, coming into PodCamp, this is one of the biggest things that we can do to promote people's Twitter. Is right. if you're if you sign up as a VIP or a volunteer, we automatically list your Twitter account. Uh, if you sign up or if you register downstairs, you know you can go ahead and mark that in on your your write in as well. Um, so that way, if people are, are meeting you, they can see that. Now, you can see right here, um, Representative Tim Murphy. I didn't realize that Representative Tim Murphy was following my. You know what? He's an office right off the street. Oh, perfect. So he's probably going to come for lunch. So yeah, he he's following me. I am not following him, but if I would like to follow him, all I have to do is I click this little follow button. I'm following him. His account is unlocked, so I'm automatically I will now get whatever tweets he sends. Um, the rest of these people are primarily my friends. A uh, few of them in through here. Like you, you, you can see that there's some that I'm not following yet. I'm going to go through and actually, I peer up to go through and see who I'm following, who's following me, and I'll add some follows and things like that. It's pretty much up to you as to who you want to follow. Right now, on my per I'm going to go back to my personal account. On my personal account at the moment, I'm following 225 people. I have 358 followers. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is nothing. I There's know. Nothing. <laughs> I'm still. Hold on. Question. Your Twitter page, 426. There is a design to it. The design, when you sign up for Twitter, it's it's a walkthrough, much like anything else, and it'll it'll walk you through different parts of it. And one of the walkthroughs is you can have some background images, which we should like. So, you just pull them from so there. I just pull one from there. There are other people. Um, Yeah, there are other people. Uh, it doesn't matter that that happened to go in. This is my husband's Twitter. He has that completely oh, customized. So his wow. his is tied in with all of his branding. It's got all of his information on there. But this is what he does. So you can have people who who have theirs completely customized. That picture doesn't look like. That's not my husband. That's right. But you said pull my account. That's like your no. Why? No, you said mine. Sorry, I need four sins. Sorry. That's fine. No, this this was one that I automatically I, I, I know this one. Uh, I got you. Sorry about that. So how did he um, customize? He went to art school, so he was. Is able it to, just like a lot of coding or something? It's not really coding. It's more specifically 
creating the image and then uploading it in a specific image. way. Well, okay. That's over my head as far as things are concerned. If I want it done, like, can I do these? I was going to say, make them do it. Exactly. So I really have no reason to, uh, to learn that. A lot of them, if you take like, a picture of the flag, upload it, it'll be the background. So oh, you, yeah. you don't need. You, know, you can go to Photoshop and make any image you want. Sure. And you can just dial in any, any image you want, upload it as your back. Are there any uh, intellectual property issues that come up when you just grab somebody's photo and. Uh, yeah, 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 you can get into that. I don't want to get into that. Yeah, public yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, my, my dilemma, he works for the Department of Corrections, I work for a defense contractor. So we're looking at, and I know this is 201, but we're looking at implement. we're going to implement social media. We're going to open it up. Okay. It's been locked down. So our, their concern is, I'm, I'm in the training department, so the concern is, how do we keep people smart? Mm -hmm. You know, you need to protect your information, because people, if they start to follow you, because the apps that take the photograph, that know that they have that GPS app, mm -hmm. they can identify where you are, and then we become targets. So there, there, there's applications yeah. for students, we need to teach people how to be smart and safe. If you download yes. something off the internet, as far as geotags go, yeah. if it's a picture that's, that an artist took, that is copyrighted, yeah, you really can't do that. Right. But Twitter also gives you the ability to, you know, create your own. So if you have any kind of photo yeah, shops, like if, if you took a you want, you if you took a picture of, you know, of you car, yeah, that's the Twitter version. Please don't do that. But if you, <laughs> <laughs> you use my picture as your Facebook, it, you know, and it's just oh, that's just one of those things. Um, it happens, but and so you could just have a food backdrop. You could. I absolutely yeah. could. Um, I have I have photos of my stuff that I've taken, and I could easily put that together. I just have to put them. A good resource for finding pictures too, if you go to Flickr, um, there is a you can search specifically for photos published with the Creative Commons license. It means you you can you use can it. use it. There's any there's different levels of the license, but there are some that say you can you know use at will and, and whatever you want. So if you're looking for good. You know, you don't want to like pay for a stock image or something. You just want to go to. So yeah, like, as you said, for the page, is this part of the walkthrough? It, it is. Um, I mean, as far as adding photographs and things like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, do. it it will do that. I should have thought. I should have had the forethought to have created a, a dummy account that I could have showed you through the, the walkthrough process. But I apologize. But I am willing to sit down with anybody who would perhaps be interested to talk about it more. Well, I could be a volunteer instead of a Twitter. Okay. I don't have a Twitter account. Okay. We'll set you up with a Twitter account. That's Facebook. Yeah, well, that's Facebook. Much, like, how much time do you have? Yeah, you want to cover the different, uh, you know, uh, Yeah, that's why I was starting to go into the Facebook a little bit. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll cover Facebook. We'll have, we can have continued conversation after the session, too. Uh, yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Just before we leave Twitter, totally. <laughs> Um, can you can you arrange it so that if you get a Twitter, uh, that it, it pops over to your email so that you know you have one? Twitter automatically sends, they updated their stuff. Whenever I get a tweet, it's um, if it's an app response, somebody's talking to me, I get an email. If somebody mentions me, so... Um, so can you also disable that feature too? Because you don't want to be bombarded with it. Yeah, you, you can disable oh, it. I generally don't because much like you just mentioned, if somebody's talking specifically something to me, I'm not on Twitter during the day because of my day job, but I can go at lunch and I can check my email and then I can follow the conversation and be like, okay, I need to respond to this. That's how I handle a lot of the stuff with PodCamp because since I work my 9 to 5, which is not related to PodCamp, I take my lunch break, I take my you know, 15s, and I'm on my... Cell phone. Okay, what do I need to address? We have it's nice like you're working after work. That just sounds exhausting. <laughs> well, so podcast, it's different than my own personal stuff. I understand. And my own personal stuff is actually taking a very, very, very bad seat. Uh, is that you can do it? Is, is, is that people <laughs> with your work? Um, yeah, the little one. I'm not also. sure. Okay, I'm not sure. We imagine it is. It's not just, it's yeah, they were talk, They were responding to us earlier. Okay, sounds good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is that your AV support? That is that your AV support. Um, okay, so we. And they keep changing it. It's pretty static for a while, but you know how the Facebook creators have to keep changing the look and feel every several months. Yeah. Now we're logged in to, to Facebook, and much like Ward had mentioned, you can tie your Twitter into your Facebook. And you said it appears on your wall. It yeah. does. Okay. The, this is this is my wall. 
And this right here, uh, where, all right, Hutch Bailey Jr., my friend Hutch, Podcamp Pittsburgh, that is Podcasting 101, Michelle Renee, 4022, Ruby at 1 p.m. This indicate here, he sent that from his Twitter client. So you can tell from that little icon? Yeah. Because that that's, uh, I think he uses no, that. So that shows, bird, little bird, it's one. Yeah. So that, that shows that's that that's what he used. Oh. And it sends, yeah, that, it sends that. Twitter to Facebook. No, that particular application is called TweetDeck. There's <sighs> ungodly amount of applications. I use Tweetcast Pro. There's Tweetcast Pro. Yeah, there's Hoot Suite. There's well, the businesses there's, that have been created based on this. Oh, well, absolutely. Um, and they all have different mix of what they do. Right. Yeah, you basically have to dial what you're trying to try. And, and yeah, find one that you want. Because for me, Twitter works the best because I can see multiple accounts at the same time on your account. Whereas some of the other Twitter accounts are basically just for you. So, like the, the phone call that we were showing before was just just your feed. You know, whereas TweetDeck gives me the ability to look at who mentioned me, who sent me a direct message, who sent me, you know, whatever. And then on top of that, you can add comments. Hashtags or whatnot. So if it's a continuing conversation, you can have the hashtag for it. You it. Now, if this isn't your job. Like, this is outside of your job? Or this, is way, this is nowhere near what I do. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so you make the time because you enjoy it. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, to, for me, Twitter is a tool. Uh, it's your connection to a lot of people. To, for my shows. Yes. For, for the podcasts and whatnot that I do. That's my way of letting people know that hey, we released a new episode, we you know, we're you know, looking for people to come help us out or whatever. That's what we use Twitter for. Uh, and we also have a Facebook account, we have a Facebook page for the show that was important a lot. But yeah. So there's a difference between I, I know the difference, but what do you use Facebook for? Facebook, this is again going back to I have I do not have my Facebook and my Twitter accounts linked because Facebook is primarily my connection with my family. Twitter is my connection with my friends. If I want to see pictures of, you know, I mean, I do have friends on my Facebook, don't get me wrong, but Kristen Dale, she's my cousin. Uh, she and her husband just moved, I believe, to Virginia. I don't even know where they moved to, but this is, <laughs> I know, it's, it's so bad. I've, you must have missed that tweet. <laughs> I, I did. I, I missed that Facebook update. Yeah, Twitter um, them, see where they are. <laughs> so I'm, I'm able to follow up with her. Um, today's field trip day, the prairie today. Um, you know, so she's taking her, her little boy, and, and they're going on a field trip. Um, my friend, my family friend, uh, she lives in Michigan. And you know, turned out the furnace this morning, take chill out of the house. It doesn't work. So I mean, she's just, just a basic update type of thing. So this is where I keep in touch with my family. Is Facebook as instantaneous as Twitter? I think Twitter is more instantaneous mm -hmm. because Facebook, I have to pull up the app, figure out what I'm doing from the app based on that. Twitter, I can literally send a text message. Well, so oh, it's not. That also depends on how you're using your Facebooks. Uh, I have my personal Twitter, my personal Facebook, and then my veterans group. Facebook and my veterans group Twitter. Uh, and on my phone, I can get updates pretty spontaneously to either for the accounts. Uh, I don't do this as a full time job, it's my full time hobby. <laughs> um, but I can I pretty much get instantaneous responses to my personal Facebook, but not my group Facebook. But and it's for, more personal preferences to that. I mean, yeah. I, I know some people, some of my friends, Prefer Facebook. Well, because there is the messages on Facebook, that's just between you two people. You can do that on Twitter as well. well you can. Okay. Under messages, oh, it's okay. direct messages. Okay. You have to be following a person, much like with Facebook, you have to be a friend of theirs. So these are all the messages. We're going to send a new message to Sword of Trump. That's my husband, Mike. What's your lunch? Is Twitter more of a Twitter as a phone app? I, I prefer Twitter better as a phone app, just as general, but I haven't really used a whole, I'll be honest, I haven't used a whole lot of Facebook phone app. It's more cumbersome to me. I, I don't. That's, uh, Twitter was actually created under the same idea of the, of the SMS like messages. Yeah. Because that's 140 characters, that's 140 characters. So people were used to, well, I'm just saying, quick 
unformed character message. It's not yes. the new thing. Is there a character limit on the message for Facebook? Yes. No, on Facebook. No. As soon as I yes, there was 250 characters. 250? For a status update, it's 250 characters. I didn't know. That. Yep. I learned that the hard way. I learned that the hard way. I think you read the whole story. Right. Well, there's notes. You just write a thousand pages. This is not a Facebook. So, somebody tweets you. And they put something out there, and you want to respond to that like, "What are you out of your mind? Why did you put that out there?" But you don't want everybody else to read that. You can that would be the exact for, for example, if I wanted to send a direct message to Miss, oh my God, I tried to do that. You did that last time. Oh no, that would be your husband. This is this I My direct message him. Look at that! How you can control people. <laughs> Is he your shop too? He gets, he gets direct messages. Honey, pick up some milk for me. He gets direct messages, te text messages to his Did phone. you tell him to come down here? No, I just said hi. Uh, I'm DMing you from the social media one-on-one -on -one session. And I just happened to be around the corner. Uh, so he walked into my social media one-on-one -on -one session. Dude, but see how well that works? It's so I have a question about Facebook. And how, much, yes. how much do you reveal in your account? You know how you have all your personal details. Again, working for a department of, you know, working with the Department of Defense and all that stuff. I just watched a uh, free training that the DOD mm -hmm. puts out about safety in social media and how it's frightening what's happening and how people I, can stop you and they can do. You I know, keep my notes unrestricted, and it's, it's again, it's a personal preference type of thing. Yep. Uh, if, if you want to fill out all the information, have it public. Power to you. I don't think it's a good idea. I myself am, am not a fan. I have my birthday listed, but it's my month and my date of right. birth, not my year of birth. Solely because security question for the bank. What's your date of birth? I'm sorry, anybody can see that. Yeah. I'm not doing that. And the other thing too is you can restrict it. Too, I know yeah, people have to pay attention to the privacy yeah. setting. Yeah, yeah. And that's, really, that's, that's something that we have groups and say this group can see, you know, this is my family. Right. They can they see, can see everything. Right. My acquaintances, you know, yeah. they can only see my name and you know what what city I'm in, type of thing. So I mean, you can set those specific preferences and it's something in your setting features. If yeah, someone becomes a friend of you, okay, mm -hmm. so I'm you and I are connected mm -hmm. and I allow you to see my personal information. Can people that are connected to you then see my personal information? That would depend on your setting. Because you can say friends of friends, okay. or you can okay. say friends only, or only this group. Okay. Yeah, and so, yeah. depending on how you set that up, that's how that works. Um, now, are we talking Facebook or Twitter? We're talking Facebook. Facebook. Okay. We, we've tried to transition up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, somebody, uh, one of my family, posted mm -hmm. a picture of me on Facebook. Okay. Everybody's been commenting on it. Mm -hmm. I don't know who sees it. How do I know who sees it? Because I don't know what this, who's going to have saw on that online. It. it was you. <laughs> <laughs> if, it's, if it's a photo that somebody else has put up there. You have no control. You have been dead. It's based <laughs> right. on their account. It's based on their account. But I believe that they do have a setting that you can go in and you can, you can untag, you can untag, untag it. yourself. Yeah. And if you untag, untag yourself. yourself once yeah, you once you untag your text. I did not know that. Yeah. yeah. That's well, good to know. They just changed it. Thank you guys. Because I thought that's what was going on. You see the so what does that mean? Just, if you untag it. Then there's actually a button there. You can go in, you can go in like you see the picture and it'll say, like, more just said, untag me. If you hit the untag well, Go to your Facebook account and see if there's a photo of you that's been tagged somewhere. More than likely. I'll go to my account, actually. I have a lot of good ones because I, I get a lot of people tagging me for wrestling oh. clothes that I shoot, and okay. then I'll have other people tagging me for like they'll they'll say I want you to join my group and they'll tag me on their picture, like and I have nothing to do with it, and I'll say I don't want this because it shows up, you know, in my that stream at the top. And I, and oh, I right there, it. stream top. Uh, we'll go to that. Um, I've been tagged in this account. <laughs> so if you hover now, explain yeah, how yeah. explain how you tag. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just, what does that mean to tag? Okay, it says tag right. photo. If you upload a photo, see where I'm clicking onto it, and this is Adrian McSee. That's my friend Adrian and my friend Katie. Um, if you know the person in a photo, you can kind of select them and then add their name to it, and that's tagging them. And what that does is it, it attaches their Facebook to that photo. And everybody sees that. So that anybody who sees over. that then can look over and say, okay, that's Adrian, that's Katie. I was wondering who those people were when I went to the superhero one. 
Um, so that's that's how that works. Uh, no, it says on. Wait, it says tag photo. Does that mean the, that name is on there now? What does it mean? This tag photo. All right. See where I just said there. Just click on the photo to start tagging. I just did the the tag photo. Um, Can you find a photo that's like just a if, and that's if I know if I know this guy back here, I click on him. <laughs> Do you, okay. And it gives me I can only select the people who I'm friends with, and then I can search who it is. So if I'm going to put Mike. Michael Sorg for that. I would tag him as Michael Sorg on that. So whenever anybody hovered over that dude in the background, it would then pick up as him. I'm obviously not going to tag him for that because that's not him. Not him. That's one of the things that we're talking about. And then that can send you. I can send you a notice if they post something. That's a notification. You can send an email. Hey, you've been tagged. That's a notification. Yeah. But then you can go to that picture. And then you can tag. Like if you're busy drinking with your friends and you don't want that out there. Yep, that's how you Okay, so whenever I'm doing a background on somebody and I have their name. Yes. And I just put it into Facebook, will all their tag photos come up too? Depends on how they have their Yeah, depends on their settings. So I can see them doing things and I may say, oh, now I know who, you know, and it may be not in their best interest to be tagged. Correct. Exactly. Or, or to let that be uh, be out there, because as part of the privacy settings, when you create the account, you can say, you know, my my photos are available to the public. I don't care if it's my picture. But there are some people who block that down. So when you like, if I go to this easy and say, you know, let's see what let's see what kind of pictures they want. They'll come up with a lot and say, you know, only share certain well, what I see is in the generational situation is the young kids in college. Mm -hmm. They want they want everybody to see what they're yeah. doing, and and that's how a lot of them go to school. That's exactly it. Is that then when they get out into the workforce, I, I know that um, I'm working them up and I'm going, oh yeah, I'm gonna hire you. Yeah. I work for a law firm, and I know that we will we will have students come in and they'll have their name on there, and Twitter. In order to determine what we can, I mean, if they're saying one thing and then their Facebook or their Twitter says something else, we can, yeah. you know, print that out and then we can bring it up in deposition. We can do whatever right. we need to do with it in order to, to kind of offset their credibility. Do you think it's discriminatory, though, to take that information? I know we're putting it out there, we're making it public, well, but can they come back and say that's discrimination? No, it's not making it public. Yeah. Anybody can see it. But anybody can take your phone and without your permission. They can, they can only outside. Yeah, but if they unless use it for us, you're made aware of it. If it's a true thing, let's say uh, if I'm African American and they see this and they didn't know that and they don't hire me because I'm African American, even though I put it out there, they can oh, discriminate yeah. against me. But there's some other issues that are well beyond. I mean, that, that would be more of a legal discussion about things. Right. Yeah, mostly it's like kids doing like bomb hits and applying for a job. And yeah. that's, <laughs> that's more specifically what it is. And you know, if somebody says that, oh, I, I can't do this job because my doctor said I can't do this. Type. And now they are rock climbing. Exactly. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's kind of one of those situations yeah. where, oh, well, I see that you went to, you, know, you can't travel, but you were in Mexico last night. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, so I mean, that, that's kind of what but once again, we have control of that as we set up our preferences. Yes. So. And the nice thing is, is that <laughs> they change different settings as they add new features. They will notify you when they're changing settings, and it's a good idea to go in and check that your settings are still set where you want to set. Okay. Because I know that I got caught up on that the one time because I had my full date of birth in, but they didn't show my birth year to begin with. They updated that they were showing birth year, and I'm going, why is my, why is my full birth date on there? And I went and I had to change my profile settings because that's how it defaulted into it. Well, yes, that's it. Did you speak them too? No, I did not. Okay. They followed you. Pat, did you have a question? Well, I, I was just wanting a clarification. So when you get an email that says you've been tagged, yes. all that means is somebody's put your name on a picture. Yes. Okay. Somebody, somebody has said that picture is you. Okay. Or did we poke? He wondered what it meant to be yeah. poked. Somebody like, poked me. Why do you like that? Me. What does that mean? It's, <laughs> pretty, much, it's pretty much just a small way of letting people know that, you know, hey, I haven't heard from you in a while. Hey, I sent you messages. Hey. 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 Yeah, I usually just poke back. Um, I have 
One of my really good friends lives in New Jersey. Yeah. I love it. I'm not having to write any words. You can just click a button. No. And that's exactly it. <laughs> if I don't have the time to send a message and he wants to verify that I'm still alive, he'll poke me and then I'll, I'll poke back. And that's just one of those things. <laughs> yes, I'm still alive. I've poked. So poke etiquette. Poke etiquette. Poke I really. Not sure. And in the spring wearing white. Yeah. 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 After Labor Day went right. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> so how do you get to post somebody? Uh we'll go over here. Yeah. 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 And what do you think about, is it farm yeah, okay. Okay. Right up here, this house, it says, says David Will, that's my, that's my friend from Jersey, has poked you. I'm going to poke him back. You're about to poke him? Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. So I'm going to poke you. Oh, I see. So when somebody poked me, I had that option. Yeah. And it tells you different things like this. Like, it's telling me I should know this, uh, Theodore Ruggiero. <laughs> Because you're friends with a lot because of people. Because I'm friends with a lot of people that are a lot of friends with people. And to get this is one of those situations where my account started out under one purpose. And because of PodCamp has kind of expanded to a PodCamp purpose. So this is somebody who knows somebody who knows me. I get a little nervous with some of those games and apps and yeah, I farm never, bill. Because I, it, cause it, when it opens up, it says it's going to share all this information out. And I'm like, mm. yeah. Like when, when I went to PodCamp, when I went to <laughs> Which I know, which is part of the purpose of this conference. Uh, I went on, I was going to watch something streaming, I think, but it asked for, it just said it was going to connect me. That always makes me nervous when it connects with, it's going to go into my account and be able to share out information. Yeah, um, that's, that's one of those things that, that they'll do, um, depending on what it is. Did they let you know that this is going to oh, something so, this could actually... Uh, I think yeah, it's it okay. Yeah. Do you, what do you think? Do you, do you do any of those? That farm bill? All that I used to. Stuff? And then I. I what is it? It's, it's a game, it's like a video game that's connected to baseball. Oh, yeah, my daughter in law. Yeah, I. My daughter is a So I. They, I, I personally.